Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily channel. Today I want to show you an error that I've made multiple times myself when working with Filament and I'm pretty sure it may be relevant to a few of you as well. So what if you want to add a new column to the database and then add that to the existing table and form in Filament? So what do you do? You add a migration with, for example, phone number. In my case, it's a phone number added to the users table and then you add that to the resource, to the form text input and to the table as text column here. So nothing really fancy. Here's our phone number and we go to the edit form. We try to add something. We save the changes. It is saved and we go to the users table back and the phone number isn't actually saved. But no error. Why? And that mistake is not that much about filament. It goes down to Laravel and model fillable fields. I've made this mistake multiple times myself in my career, even before filament, which is forgetting to add the new field into fillable array in the model. In our case, what we need to do is add phone number to already existing fillable fields in the user model. And now if we go to edit form to edit phone number, we save the changes, we'll get back to the users table, and now our phone number is successfully saved. And for a bit of context, it's not necessarily that you need to add fillable array to the models. It's my personal preference to have clarity of what the fields are really fillable, but Eloquent allows you to do it from multiple angles. So in the Laravel documentation, there's a section called mass assignment, which is about fillables and it suggests to add fillable array. But not necessarily, you may have an opposite direction and define guarded, so which fields are not fillable. If you define that as empty array, then all the fields will be fillable. Or for example, I've seen people often add ID here, so someone wouldn't be able to override the ID, which should be auto increment primary key. And actually in the filament documentation itself, in the panel builder, in the very first getting started section, they suggest unguarding all models. This is done for the demo purpose. So for the brevity of this guide, they decided to not work with fillables, but go with the filament direction and not explain the fillables. But there's the link to the docs, the same that I've shown you a minute ago. And here's the kind of trick in filament. You just may unguard all the models which means you wouldn't need to use fillables in every model. And the statement is this, filament only saves valid data to models, which means it is safe to on guard. But in my personal opinion, filament may be just the part of your application, for example, admin panel, but someone else may be working with that model. It's not necessarily filament. It may be separate API or separate front end or something like that. So this is a bit risky to unguard everything in my opinion, but it is possible. It's an option, it's your personal preference where to do that. My personal preference is to use fillable like this, but if you decide to do it this way, don't forget to add every new field to fillable array. I hope it's helpful. Subscribe to the channel to get more quick tips like this one about filament and context in general, and see you guys in other videos.